the module photovoltaic Photovoltaic modules are the uh, basic element of photovoltaic systems. A solar generator is made up of uh, photovoltaic modules which are connected in parallel series, determining the uh, power voltage operation and current delivered by the whole system. Generally speaking, there are two types of photovoltaic systems. The ones connected to the grid, the energy is therefore injected into the grid through an inverter. There are systems integrated in urban environments, for instance, or large power plants. And there are also systems, the objective of which is to feed isolated uh, sites with the need, with the help of a battery to adapt offer to demand, supply to demand. And depending on the type of charge, they might use a converter. I'll give you the example of a uh, country house in a very isolated place or a professional system for cathodic protection. Regarding the market, silicon and crystalline module are 90% of the installed modules. So during my presentation, I will focus on this type of uh, module. A photovoltaic module operates according to a characteristic curve that varies depending on the sunshine in the module's plane and the temperature. Therefore, the photovoltaic module power depends on weather conditions. For a given temperature, the module power will be almost proportional to the sunshine the voltage is uh, not very sensitive to sunshine, and for a given amount of sunshine, power will decrease, will decrease depending on the temperature. Now, this drop is uh, materialized by a coefficient. This coefficient is specific to the technology. Considering that photovoltaic module power is variable, it is necessary to define reference conditions in which a rated power may be considered. The reference conditions I called uh, standard test conditions with a sunshine for one kilowatt per square meter, module temperature 25 degrees, and an air mass coefficient equal to 1.5. The air mass coefficient is relative to the optic travel in the atmosphere with uh, a temperature height angle of 40 degrees. This is what we call the peak power and it corresponds to the installed power. Assessing the uh, photovoltaic system performance, in this case a system connected to the grid, may vary depending on the time scale if we want to follow up a system uh, in a very accurate way, it might be necessary to perform uh, real-time measurements. However, when all we are interested by are overall productivity or comparisons between systems, a macro type of assessment might be sufficient. And by micro assessment, I mean that the time scale is the hour, the month, or the year. In this example, for a system recorded uh, connected with the grid, the order of magnitude will be uh, kept a, um, catching uh, surface uh, peak power. The, uh, and by converting the power injected into the grid, we can calculate the production versus the power production in the system that allows to make comparisons between systems. Yields at different levels of the system can be calculated. Productivity is calculated with the ratio between the energy injected in the grid and its peak power. We can free ourselves of the uh, system's size, but we depend on sunshine conditions, and therefore we also depend on the site where the photovoltaic system was installed. Productivity can also be expressed in number of hours of uh, during which the photovoltaic system operates 
in rated Alors, power conditions. La relation y a avec les conditions de the relationship conditions with the uh, sunshine conditions tells us that productivity is greater in southern European can, uh, countries where there is more sunshine than in northern European countries. In order to free ourselves from the uh, sunshine conditions so that we can benchmark the systems directly between themselves and therefore identify systems that could have lesser performances, one can introduce the so-called performance coefficient, which actually calculates the quantity of energy really supplied versus a quantity of potential energy that would be supplied were the system to function in rated conditions. The coefficient is shown here on the uh, graph, and what matters most, it is the one that matters most for the systems connected with the grid, because these systems will use all the energy produced, whereas for isolated systems, the variation interval is greater and depends on the match between production and load. Renewable energies and solar energy in this case, are technologies which are being installed in some countries in a substantial way. It is therefore necessary to make a realistic calculation of the contribution they make to the national energy supply, or possibly even an international energy supply, considering Europe, versus what traditional or conventional energies can do. The load factor is directly linked with productivity that I described earlier, and it corresponds to the number of operating hours of the system at the rated power divided by the number of hours in the year. We have the uh, percentage of operation at rated power. On this graph, we can see that solar systems have load factors below 20%. In other words, these systems operate less than 20% of the time at their rated power. One solar gigawatt does not have the same value as one gigawatt supplied by a conventional power plant. Moreover, solar systems only produce during the uh, middle of the day, and it is therefore necessary to adjust where the storage units adjust the supply with storage Alors units in order to uh, avoid disrupting the uh, grid. A few key figures Donc, regarding photovoltaic systems. A silicon crystalline module has a yield that varies between 13 and 20 percent, depending on the technology used. The photovoltaic system yield takes into consideration the various conversions that take place in the system and is comprised between 10 and 17 percent. A generator life cycle for a silicon crystalline generator is approximately 30 years with uh, degradation below 10 percent. Regarding the investment cost, well, depends on the technology, obviously, but for a uh, system that is uh, installed on a rooftop, it might vary between 2,000 200 and 4,000 kilo uh, euros per kilowatt in peak power, but it depends if it's uh, located on the rooftop or in the building itself, and big solar plants can uh, vary between 1,500 and 2,500. The load factor in northern European countries approximately nine hours, uh, whereas in southern European uh, countries 1,500, so almost double the figure. Energy return, by energy return we mean the duration of time needed for the photovoltaic system to reimburse the energy needed to create it, and that will be comprised between two and five years.